Hello fellow YouTubers and welcome to unboxing and overview of the Samsung SSD which is 840 EVO. Now this particular version is 250 gigabyte. I actually have two of these. Now unfortunately I'm not going to be showing RAID uh, 0 performance simply because one of them has my important data as a backup and one will be system drive and I have another SSD which is crucial MX100 which is going to be for backup of data. So yeah, anyway, what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to show you what's in the box. Then I'm going to talk a little bit about, you know, obviously the features and such of the drive because there's not much as you see um, on the box. I'm going to show you the actual software for this drive. I'm going to talk a little bit about how that software actually helps you to manage your drive. So yeah, let's get started. So first things first. Obviously, as I mentioned, this is the box of the actual drive. Now, this is not a kit version. So basically, all you have inside is manuals, all sorts of paperwork, um, warranty and such, um, CD probably with um, installation drivers and whatnot. And that's about it. The kit usually includes uh, some cables like a USB cable, for instance. Um, no secret that these drives can be connected via USB, say, 3.0 and use that as a USB storage. So pretty handy. Solid state drive installation guides. So straightforward. Um, here we have some stickers, which says Samsung SSD activated. Very similar looking to Intel ones. But then again, that's what Samsung usually does. Samsung Solid State Drive Warranty uh, Statement Summary. So there we go. And here we have Samsung Solid State One Stop Navigation Manual and Software Version 4.0. Obviously always downloaded. So the drive itself looks like so. So matte surface. Looks very nice. By the way, very, very light drive. I was surprised. Um, I showed it to my other half and she was saying is anything inside because it's so light. So yeah, it's very light compared to a standard, let's say hard drive or another uh, solid state drives, it's quite light and um, nicely made. Nothing special, but at the same time, very nice and solid looking device. Obviously, main thing for these drives, especially since they're gonna be sitting in your computer is not the actual looks, but the performance and that's what this do. Uh, do. Now I will show you the software and I'm going to talk a little bit about the software. By the way, other items here on the table I'm going to be doing unboxing of shortly. So Chromecast from Google, Ostrom lights that I already have, but this one is different version. So it's sky white, 6,700 Kelvin. But anyway, that's for those of you who are interested. So yeah, about the drive. So it has 256-bit encry encryption, which is probably in the industry standard, most drives that say have that type of encryption on, on them. And it's hardware encryption, which means it doesn't take your CPU resources or anything like that from you. Also, it has a temper temperature sensor, and that's where it's a bit um, interesting. I'm not sure about other drives, but what this drive does is, if you have, um, let's see, very hot environment, effectively it throttles the performance in order not to overheat which is a nice feature to have. And they advertise these drives as suitable for pretty much um, any temperatures. Well, obviously livable temperatures, not gonna throw it into 300 degrees oven or something like that. Um, but you know, uh, from zero degrees to something like 50, 60 degrees, they should be fine. So pretty much for most environments, maybe even in the minus, I haven't uh, checked that yet. Now, also, in terms of software, which is the most interesting probably feature is what it does is it allows you to use your RAM memory. So for instance, I have 16 gigabytes of RAM and I'm not using um, more than half of it most of the time. So I can use some of the RAM to use as a cache for this drive and that's what I'm gonna try using. And I'm gonna show you the software which uh, Samsung provides to make that possible. So that should be interesting. But yeah, that's the overview of the drive. Next, I'm gonna show you what the software looks like and maybe do a few benchmarks, so stay tuned. Okay, and I'm back. So, I'm gonna show you quickly the utility here. It's called Samsung Magician. 
And basically I have two SSDs obviously installed at the moment. So you can see one and second, they're both uh, 232 actual gigabytes, nearly 233. So that's the status screen. You can read your smart as well. So it's gonna show you some information there. You also have performance benchmark. Um, which you can run as you see I ran before now guys I'm gonna go a little bit into detail about this but anyway this is my main drive so if I'm gonna run this I'm just gonna let it finish but basically I'm gonna just explain something to you there is a performance benchmark which is done on the SSD so as you see these are real life figures and then there's a performance benchmark using um, rapid mode over here and what rapid mode does is it uses RAM like a RAM disk and that allows you to speed it up quite significantly. However, for things like booting windows and stuff like that, it's not going to matter. Um, and that's a fact. So this is basically without the rapid mode enabled. So pretty standard figures, 500, over 500 megabytes read and write. Um, nothing unusual really. And we, we actually going all over towards the SATA limit anyway, so I'm not gonna expect to do, go anywhere closer than that. Also we have performance optimization, usual thing, firmware update for both drives. Um, if the firmware update is due, it's gonna show there. OS optimization, so you can choose the profiles, maximum um, performance options are there, maximum capacity options are there as well maximum reliability which I'm using at the moment and advanced you obviously can modify some of the things yourself over provisioning haven't used that not 100% sure what's that about secure race which is handy if you want to sell the drive or give it to somebody for for limited time or something like this rapid mode is what I was talking about and data security and as you see there's options here and SSD models supporting the security how to enable and things like that. So that's this, as you see quite a quite few features there. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna enable the rapid mode. Um, this will have to restart the PC, but what that's gonna do is it's gonna use the drive as a RAM drive basically. Very standard feature to have, nothing unusual at all, but very handy in the scenarios where you're using the same programs over and over and over and they just would start faster. But really guys, once again, you can simply do it yourselves by getting a RAM drive uh, software, which is free up to certain um, size of RAM, when is up to certain size of RAM used and use it that way. So it doesn't matter whether you have a hard drive, SSD or anything like that. Obviously this, um, in this case, it helps you to do it because the, the software using SSD actually works hand in hand with the RAM drive as well and helps the RAM drive to offload a um, little bit. So I'm gonna show you, uh, you saw already the results there. And if I'm gonna go again to performance benchmark, I'm gonna do it again. So you see results here, nothing amazing, 531. Uh, read 508 megabytes right and this is now going to take RAM, a RAM drive also into consideration and you will see how different the figures will be so there you go um, completely different figures in any really scenario but once again guys this is it looks very good in the benchmark, but it would be completely different when, uh, different when you're using because obviously RAM drive is not gonna have all your data on it. So when you're accessing files that are not frequently accessed, it's not gonna help you much. But nevertheless, it's a nice feature to have. Obviously, if you have quite a bit of RAM available. Now at the moment, I have, let's see, 2.86 RAM used. Now I'm not sure if that shows RAM drive as well or not. You can also, if I'm not mistaken, configure how much RAM it, it will um, take from you. But yeah, that's the feature for you and it works. Um, as you see, the recommendations is 2 gigahertz CPU, Windows 7 and above, NTFS system, physical RAM, 2 gigabytes or more, 
space required on the drive I assume uh, 50 megabytes only that's all and obviously SSD one of the Samsung 840 series or 850 Pro so there you go guys so that's about it really I don't know what else to say um, the drives are nice um, one thing that really matters to me is uh, aesthetics of the drives um, previously you saw I had um, a crucial MX100 uh, drive and it's fine and um, performance is probably nearly identical if not considering the RAM drive feature but the actual looks of the drive were not great it's just simple plain um, silver drive um, where Samsung it has this nice anodized aluminum look and um, yeah it's just nicer looking drive overall and guys um, one tip for everybody of you looking into SSDs and maybe not sure what to buy any SSD pretty much any SSD on your system would work nearly exactly the same in 99-95% of scenarios unless you're working with some um, I don't know video work or something like that where you need a lot of data to be pushed through and you don't want any bottlenecks then obviously you can cherry pick but for a standard user, if you're gaming, if you're using Windows, if you're doing light video editing, some graphics or something like that, you'll be fine with pretty much any SSD on the market. So the main thing for you to shop around is the warranty, the customer service and support from the manufacturer, and I suppose extra features and whatever is included in the actual package. So things like a maybe a USB drive, um, sorry, USB cable so you can connect the drive as a USB drive, things like that, you know, nice little things that can help you um, use your drive. So yeah, I hope um, that showed you what the 840 EVO um, drives are about. As you see, nothing spectacular, nice drives, very nice looking drives, decent warranty, decent performance, but nothing to rave about. Pretty much uh, one of the reasons is because we are sat, uh, saturating um, SATA port or nearly saturating SATA port. Um, if it was a M2 or something like that drive, it would be a little bit more interesting because we could uh, maybe get a little bit more performance out of it. But for everyday use guys, it's pretty nice drive. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, click the like button and subscribe and have a nice day.